Hey guys, firstly, I just want to apologize um, for being absent on YouTube for probably four or so weeks now, probably longer. Um, and I'm sorry I haven't explained to you guys what's been going on. It's just been, it, I'm gonna to explain to you guys anyway, but just bear with me because I will probably break down. Um, at the moment, I'm going through what can only be described as the hardest time of my entire life, all right? Basically, guys, I lost my mum on Boxing Day 2023. It was all of a sudden completely out of the blue and it has taken its toll on me and my family over the past four weeks. So this is my reason of being off YouTube. But as you guys know, I appreciate you lot more than anything. Um, you guys supporting me, you guys supporting the channel, using my codes of Ghost, Alphalee and all that sort of stuff. What's gone on over the last four weeks really does put life into perspective. You know, I've always said this anyway, you know, you've got to live. I never always just say live each day like it's your last because obviously that's a bit extreme. But with what's happened with, with my mum, it was complete all of a sudden. I'm not going to explain exactly what happened or how it went about sort of thing. But basically, we had Christmas at my place. Everything was absolutely fine and when my mum got home um, on Boxing Day morning, she collapsed and never woke up, which is just completely, completely out of the extraordinary, I don't even know how to, how to explain it to honest of you guys. Um, but like I just mentioned there, I do appreciate you guys um, and I'm trying to be super strong for my family, my dad, my sisters um, and everyone else close to my mum as well. Of course, I've got to look after myself. This is a big thing that I've got to have to go through. Um, you know, you guys might know me well enough now to know that I'm the type of person that, you know, I, I can't change anything that's happened in life in general. So even like when I was giving you guys advice about girlfriends and things in the past, if things have happened and it's, and it's jeopardized, you know, relationships, move on. You can't change it. Now, of course, this is a bit deeper than that. It's something that I'm never gonna, you know, I'm never gonna be, gonna see my mum again, and it's something that I'm gonna have to go through, and, and, and I will go through, and I will get through it, because of course, you know, you have to be strong, you have to push forward in life. Life does still move on, I'm afraid. When I say I'm afraid, obviously, like it's a good thing that life still goes on, because I appreciate my um, my life, I appreciate what I've tried to build for myself, and I know my mum would be super proud as well. <sighs> so, without further ado, people. I just wanted to explain that to you, to you guys, because I do want to like keep you guys in the loop with everything that happens in my life. I do really appreciate the support that you guys show me. Um, I know you guys appreciate these videos, and um, I'm going to do an Alphalete video for you guys today. I didn't know there was another Alphalete haul um, in January. It came up last minute um, f for me, so I didn't plan ahead for this or anything like that. But you guys know. If I can get one done, I will get one done. I may not try every single thing on today because a lot of it is the same, just different colours, but I'll try my very best. Once again, guys, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for the support. If you do um, like the videos, please make sure you like this video and please click that subscribe button. It does mean the absolute world to me. I appreciate you all. Let's go. All right, guys, so as you know, I'm obviously home right now, so I'm doing this in my dad's gym that he built. So. Pretty sick little gym. I might do a little video in here, you know, at some point um, in the future. Just a little home workout vibe. But, right, I've got a load of things to go through today. We've got some really cool stuff um, actually dropping. And I can't wait to get my hands opening those um, opening those t-shirts down there. But we'll start with the bags. You guys have to act quick on these. You know that. You know, since these bags last launched, you guys have been saying when they bring out a new bag, so don't sleep on these. They're probably going to be a little bit pricey. I don't know what the price is, but I've had my bag, one like this before, for years, and it is like the best bag for some reason. Like I just love it. It's just I never really thought too much about backpacks, but then once I started using the Alphalete backpack, it's got so many uh, compartments. Like you've got compartments in there which you can probably fit an iPad in. Come a bit closer. Get an iPad in there. You've got loads of little bits in there for your pens and stuff. The magnet things are so cool. They like just haven't got all about zips and stuff. So I keep like pens, AirPods in there. You know, you can fit a nice little ghost um, can in there or a, sh or a shaker. 
And then you even got down the back here, you've even got a compartment for your laptop, which has actually got like a really like velvety feel to it, which obviously protects the laptop as well. So really, really cool. Um, make sure you get, I've got this in two colors. You've got loads of compartments in here, by the way. It's, it's pretty much the same compartments as the last bag because there's no point changing a winning team, is there? But it's just, it feels a bit different in regards to the feel. I think they've got a different material on it, different logo, raised rubber, different um, side packets as well. I've also got that in the black. What color is this one? The color I've got here is a Core Backpack Ash. So it's called Core Backpack and it's Ash. So definitely don't sleep on those guys. You know how, um, how quick they go, right? Also, you might have noticed I've got this little number on here. So this is called the Script Hoodie. It's pretty cool. Um, I've got the trousers to go with them here. I'll probably try this on at the end rather than just changing bottoms again. And obviously that color won't go with all the stuff I get. So I'll, I'll put them on together at the end. Um, the unisex script jogger blue. Now I wear this in a large, fits me. I thought it was gonna be too tight, but it's not. I've got a long sleeve t-shirt underneath here, but I've, it's quite cool because I've got the long sleeve t-shirt with the high mock neck, which you can see the athlete there. But this is like a rubbery, I don't know, the, I don't know how to explain that. It's not rubber really. It's like a, it's like a foam, if that makes sense. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool. You've got that done there. And then you've also got the wolf logo there, I think. So a couple of wolf logos on the, on the sleeves there. I don't think you've got nothing on the back, but this is a cool colour. This colour is, I've already opened the packet, so what's the colour? It just says blue. <laughs> I thought this would be something special, but it's just blue. So we've got this in black as well. I'll show you that in black. Let me get the joggers out, let's see what the joggers are saying. Oh yeah, I remember seeing these on Christian's story. So same with the blue joggers, they'll have this down the side. You've got that down the side there, like that, which is pretty sick. I guess it just says Alfie, right? Yeah, now I'm hoping these fit really well because I, I am obsessed with joggers and getting the right fit. So you can't see me right now. I've got the, um, the what are they called? The graphic joggers on. These are like a lot thin, a thinner material than this. These are thick, but these fit me like a glove. I love how they fit, like they're baggy. You can't really see, they're baggy and they fit so nice around the cuff. So I'm hoping these do, this, do the same. Cuffs look tight enough, they look good enough. I've got them in a large, and you, I think they're gonna be big enough, because I always look at the, how the width of the, the quad as opposed to anything else, and obviously you make sure you check the cuffs, but I think they'll be fine. So I'll try those, excuse me, I keep burping because I've had a busy drink, but I'll try those on in a moment. I'm gonna run through, got the hoodie as well. I'm gonna run through the t-shirts and the vests in that first. So let's start with these t-shirts here. I'm not gonna edit this video a lot, but, uh, guys, just cause I'm not really in the right mind frame to be sitting at my computer and editing a lot of stuff. So please bear with me on that one. I am literally just gonna look, like, upload this raw um, because I, I just can't be bothered to sit there, guys, at the moment, I'm sorry. But um, I just wanna get as much products as I can on this YouTube video so you guys know what to expect. So this one is the men's Breathe More long sleeve tee in a washed black. Oh, washed black is beautiful. Now I ordered these in a large, and the reason I ordered these in a large, I love a long sleeve t-shirt when it fits me tight. So I'm not sure how this is gonna fit me yet. Have I got it large? Yeah, large. It's freezing, it's gonna be in the back of the lorry, isn't it? This is quite cool though. This color is one of my favorite colors. Yeah, so I've gone large there, and I think that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's quite, that's fine. If I'd have gone extra large, it would have been too big, because it is quite an oversized tee. Can you see that? It actually fits me quite nicely. I've had a bit of a trim up as well. Like, um, look, you've got Alfie Athletics down both sides. You've got the Wolf logo. Now, I'm sorry, but that Wolf logo is my favourite logo. I just, I just love it. What's this made out of this time? Can you guys see that? Look at this. Can I, can I touch that and make it? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. It's like a raised rubber, but it's like a, what's a, it's like a patterned rubber. Hopefully I'm still in focus, am I in focus? I'm using my phone today, guys, hold up. I'm using the phone because I didn't bring my camera back. There we go. Am I in focus? Yes. Yeah, so this, this is quite cool. I rate this. Now I wear this mainly for leg days. Uh, it fits me nicely. Coming down nice and low, not like too high. You've got room for movement. I actually rate this. 
I do like long sleeve t-shirts. You know the long sleeve t-shirts they used to do? I can't remember the names now. Um, I have to find them. I've got them all at home in the wardrobe. They fit me like really snug. But to be fair, I have lost a little bit of weight recently. So maybe this would have fit me a bit better a few weeks ago. But yeah, this is really cool. I rate this color. The wash black is probably going to be my favorite. Let's see what else we've got that in. <clears throat> oh yeah, I've got it again in a moonlit. So this is like a, just a gray. Oh no, it's bluey gray. That's quite cool. Let's try that one as well. So he's done them quite washed. So they're like a washed, washed color, which is, I like that. I like that a lot. Because sometimes like with pitch black, it's difficult because like I can wear that that one I just put on, the um, the wash black, with these black joggers. But if you try and match the black, they never work because they're a completely different material. This is sick, actually. Now, I rate this stuff. I think this is quite cool. I love chilling around the house and this sort of stuff, but I would equally go to the gym in this and train, um, and train probably, I'd probably train legs in it, but I'd also might put this on for an upper body session and then just um, take it off halfway through with a vest or something, which we've got some vests to go through today. I am looking in the mirror behind as well. Um, I really like the, the neck here. It's a, like a slightly, not lower, but it looks a little bit wider. I don't know, it looks quite cool. Um, rate this a lot. So this one's called Moonlit. Oh, what else have we got? I know we've got some, um, some new vests to go through. Your boy is not really a vest person. Now I do like a vest, I just don't look that great in a vest. So this is actually a stringer and this is a wash black with orange. So this could be quite cool. I just don't. I don't think I'm. Big, I don't think I've got big enough traps and big enough shoulders really for a uh, for a vet stringer. But this is this is the stringer. It's quite a thick one. It's quite nice. Um, it's you know it's obviously made out of good material, but it's a lot more of a stretchy material. But and it's also quite thick, so quite cool. And there's the orange on the on the uh, on the logo there. Let's have a look what we look like in this. I got this. What did I go for in this? I went extra large in this, but I have got some other vests. I'm sure. Yes, tanks there that I went large in because I wanted it to be a different fit. So I've gone extra large in this, and to be honest with you, it's fine. I probably could have got away with a large, but it might have just been a bit too tight like that. So this is the large, it's longer. I don't look bad, but I just haven't got the back for it. <laughs> I don't think I've got the traps for it, I don't think I've got the back for it. But I would wear this. Once you get a pump on, like you wear the long sleeve or whatever, take the long sleeve off, get the pumped, uh, your shoulders pumped, your arms pumped take the, uh, the long sleeve off and you can just train in this. It is quite cool to be fair. The feel of this is so soft. You know what athletes do, guys. They're always so, so picky. Like, oh, well, Christian in general is just so picky when it comes to um, material, which is a good thing. Um, I'm going to try this one next because this is a, this is called the Men's Three Pillar Tank White. Now, the three pillar is the new logos. Same logos, but different. I'll show you. And I love it. The T-shirts here are going to be insane. They, they're even my favourite, I'm telling you now. So this is like, a th this is called Alpha, this is sick. This is sick. Now this is something that, it's back, mate, this is a fucking, this is a, um, what's it called? A wife beater tank, pretty much. It's super thin, it's super thin. There's the three pillar logo. How sick is that? Where is it? How sick is that? I rate that a lot. Can you guys see that? I don't know if it's focusing or not. I've got the phone, so hopefully it is. So that is sick. And you've also got Alphalete on the back. Now this is a lot thinner, but look at how they finished it. Just no, because you know with this one here, that's the biggest downfall for me is the fact you've got all that stitching. I don't like all that stitching. I don't know why, I've never been a fan of it because it just doesn't sit that well. But look, that's nothing on there. And obviously you've got the a thicker stitching on here, but it's different. It's like thinner and it's like, a lot more, what's the word, like lightweight. I'm hoping this is gonna fit me well, because I ordered this in a large, but I wanted it to be slightly tighter to make me look bigger. Hopefully it does. Yeah, this is sick. This is, this is what I'm talking about. So I much prefer this style look, like obviously my lats are not pumped right now, they probably would feel that. This is obviously a lot more, it looks like a cheaper material, but I don't know the, the price obviously, but it's like thinner, I love this. I think this is perfect. So you see the back now, it's all covered up. You're not, you know, it's not a string, you're not showing much. I rate this a lot. This, this, is, the, this is the look that I like. Now, I'm so glad I went large, because extra large, it would have been down here, and they're just a bit longer. 
large for me and this is perfect. I probably could have got away with a large in that one as well. However, I'm not too bothered because this is this is this is money. This is like wife beater um, vest. I know that's a weird name, but that's what they call them in America. This is perfect. This is so sick, and that that logo is absolute money. I love that. So we've got that also in a black, and I also got it in a large, didn't I? Yes, I did. Honestly, uh, the thing is with me, I'm always honest with you guys. If there's something I don't particularly like. I'll always let you know. Um, and the reason I always let you know that something I don't like, because I wouldn't want you going to buy that and then sending it back. Because one, it's a ball ache for you. And two, what's the point of me saying, oh, I really like that, and then I don't like it, and I never wear it. You guys know what I like the most, because I wear it the most. Do you know what I mean? This is so cool. This is money. Yeah, I rate this. These, these make me look all right, I think. I think these make me look a bit bigger than what I actually am, whereas the other ones just make me look a lot smaller. Um, but I actually love this. I'll be wearing a lot more vests from now on if they keep doing these. I'm telling you now. I'm actually heading over to Texas next month, guys. I was supposed to go last week or the week or so ago, but obviously with what's going on, I didn't really feel up for it, so I didn't bother. Um, we've got boxers, guys. Get yourself Alfleet boxers. I wear Alfleet boxers every single day. I've actually just given away all of my expensive boxes, so I've my brother-in-law, I've given him fucking, uh, what have I given him? Tommy Hill figures, I've given him Versace boxes, I've given him Calvin Klein's, I've given him Balmain's. All of my most expensive boxes, I hate them. They feel shit. I don't like them. So I've given them to my brother-in-law. I wear Alphalete boxes. Even if I'm going out, I'll wear Alphalete boxes because they're the most comfiest boxes known to flipping man. I'm going to get these out, but I'll show you quickly. Look, these ones are, that's not focusing. These ones are obviously orange, a bit out there, but the feel, oh, I don't know why I smelled it then, but the feel of them is absolutely money, mate. So go and get yourself them. Come in a pack of two, probably be 10, 20 quid, wherever they are. Uh, let's, let's go with these. Right, this is the short sleeve version. Now I bought these in a double XL, so I really hope these fit me nicely. So the long sleeve version of what I, sh what I showed you earlier, which was the, the wash black and the, the moonlight blue. Same, um, same material, same colors. Yeah, this is cool. Very stretchy, look at the back. Orange um, goes quite well with, oh, my phone's ringing. How random. Somebody called me saying, hey, did someone call me this number called Annabelle? Definitely not. Anyway, right. Yes, Kieran, well done. I always love it when I order the right sizes. Double XL is my size. She just called me again. Double XL is my size. Now look at that. Perfect fit. All right, oversized. I know you guys don't like the oversized um, t-shirts that much anymore. Trust me, we're, or I'm going over to Alphalete next month and we're meeting some new athletes, but quite a few are, I think quite a few have been let go, guys, all right? So quite a few athletes have been let go. I'm actually very fortunate enough to just sign a new contract with athletes. So again, thank you guys. I appreciate you lot a lot, which is why I'm doing this video. I appreciate you guys so much that I love doing these videos and helping you guys make the right choices. So again, without you guys, these contracts that I get with Alphalete and Goes would not be um, available to me. And I cannot thank you guys enough. But next week, or a week or two, I'm going to Alphaland and we're going to be shooting the new birthday stuff so i don't know what we're doing why we've done two launches this month maybe we're doing another one next month maybe we're doing one a month from now on but crazy anyway trust me the next t-shirts that Alfred are bringing out are going to be the um the performance t-shirts now i've been wearing those performance t-shirts a lot on my page you guys have been saying you love them you wanted to bring them back i got in touch with Alfred saying when are you guys bringing them back if you're not please make sure you are but they are bringing them back hopefully next um week or week sorry next month now, they emailed me, they probably emailed a few other athletes as well, asking for our favourite um, uh, designs. I love the performance t-shirts, and I know you guys do as well, so I told them you need to make sure you bring out the performance t-shirts um, again, but just with a new logo. Yeah, they've bought out that before, that's fine, they can do that again, but I'd love, to have, love it if they had the little wolf logo on there, but let's just see, but they're coming out again. But these t-shirts, I love these t-shirts, because in the winter, you know, you, I look good in an in a in a oversized t-shirt, and I still look pretty big. 
But sometimes if you're bulking and you're putting on a bit of body fat, maybe around here and everywhere else, you don't look as good in a, in a tight t-shirt. However, I do like these t-shirts a lot and they're so soft and they're so comfortable. So I rate these, I know you guys don't as much um, in, in regards to the size, but trust me, the oversized, I think it's where it's at. Right, we'll go here again, I've got a muted purple here. So same t-shirt, um, they've got it bang on with the fit this time. That's quite cool, it's like a muted purple, and then you've got a darker purple on the back, which is pretty sick. These are so comfortable, these t-shirts. They really are. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I was just thinking, like, since I've been on board with Alphalete for like three, four years, however long it's been now, how many different sorts of t-shirts have they done? How many different sorts of materials have they done? And yet they still manage to, to pick it up. Like every year they do something different and you're just like, yes, I absolutely love it. They're ahead of the game. And when I say they're ahead of the game, even if companies like Young LA, Gymshark, um, Vanquish, or companies like that bring out something that looks very similar to what Alphalete bring out, just know Alphalete are so far ahead of the game. I asked um, one of the design team ladies a question the other week, and I said, when are you bringing this out again, or whatever it is, or are you going to be doing something similar to this? She said, yes, but not until summer 2025. They're that far ahead of the game that they're already planning well into summer 2025. 2025, not this year, 2025, guys. They're ahead of the game. Right, what have we got here? Um, ooh, unisex three-pillar pullover. So this is a jumper. Now, three-pillar is the logo that I like. It's on the white feet stuff. So where is that then? Here. Oh, it's down the side, isn't it? I've been seeing this on Christian's story. So, look, let me put it on, let me put it on. This is super thick, super comfortable. It's probably the exact same hoodie as the blue one I tried on. It's just a different design. See, I rate that. Do you know what it reminds me of? When I was a kid, I used to go to this market. Like, uh, my dad used to take me to this little, I think it was called, I can't remember what it's called, like a, like a market, it had everything there, like everything. And this, 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 um, this sort of design, not the design, but the, the things that they're used on the design, what does that mean? You know, what they've made the design out of. It's like a, I don't know how they've done that, or how it's even stuck on there. But, there used to be so many jumpers there with that on there, but anyway. This is so cool. This is a muted purple, and I absolutely love it. We've also got joggers, I think, have we? Yes. Three, I'll try these all on a set though, guys. They're black though. Hmm. Oh no, it's not joggers, it's just a black jumper, isn't it? I don't think they do the joggers in these. You wear the joggers with the other joggers, so yeah, that's fine. So it's just black on there, guys. So you, you've got to get the black, obviously. But to be honest with you, I actually wrote this colour up on now. It's different, but it's so comfortable and it hangs really well. Sick. Right, now for my favourite, I haven't even tried these on, obviously. I reckon these are going to be my favourite, and if I have, if I have, a, if I had to have a guess, I think my mate, who I know, who works for Athlete, actually might have designed them. I'm not 100% sure though. But anyway, let's try them on. What colours have we got here? Let's, let's stay with the muted purple, because that is going to be my, that is going to be one of my favourite colours this, this time round. So, let me try and explain this to you. In fact, no, I can't because it's a different material. I thought it was going to be the same material as one of the other t-shirts that we've had before, but it's not. It's completely different. And this is sick. Again, it's an oversized one, guys, but look at the ends of that. I rate that. Just like a cut-off, basically. We've got, where is it? There, the three pillar design down there. This is going to be sick. Please fit me well. What size do I get this in? What size is it? 2XL, get in there. This should be perfect. This is a thicker material. Yeah, that's the one. I know you guys aren't liking these oversized, but I'm telling you now, I love them. Oh my God, that feels so soft. I rate that a lot. This actually comes down a lot lower than the other one, so I actually rate that even more. Yeah, this is sick. A big back day in this, do you know what I mean? I just think that looks, I, I think that looks so sick. I rate that a lot. Like if I was to design a t-shirt, like if athlete said, look, design a t-shirt, that is something that I would do, is 
cut that like that because it's just different to what a lot of people do, a lot of companies do. And you have to try and be different. You know, I'm not saying reinvent the t-shirt, but I would reinvent the t-shirt in general, but you know, do something different. Right, another one here. I just think it's so cool. Like this reminds me of like I watched Commando the other day, you know the film of Arnold Schwarzenegger in there, found my favourite film with my dad. And it reminds me of like that vibe, like a, just a cut off vibe. Look, it's just got a basic Alphalete logo in there, like a like a a, a print double XL. You've got Alphalete on the back, I think, haven't you? No, oh, I thought it was, I thought it did. Oh, no, that's on the that's on the hoodie. Um, but I rate it so much, and this is a bit of a colour as well. It's like an army vibe, isn't it? You could yeah, you got the logos on there. That is so cool. I rate that a lot. I know you guys are not gonna like it because it's over oversized, but that is something that I absolutely love right now. It's just so different. Like I walk into the gym in this, right? I know I'm gonna get people look over to me and potentially even come over to me and say, look, where did you get your t-shirt from? Because it's not that obvious with this, these t-shirts because it's not got alpha written all over it. What kind of game is back here? Jesus, bear with me. This one's obviously a black. Can it go wrong? So you know what I was mentioning at the start? Like I couldn't wear this. Can I wear this? Well, I could wear this with that. It's not too bad, but it is obviously a bit different. Can I get that leg up there? Slightly. Like the, the black between that and that is slightly different. So that's what I was saying about different colors. The muted, not the muted purple, sorry, the, um, the off black or whatever you call it, the faded black. That can go with a lot of stuff, but this I could wear this together I guess it's just a bit too samey samey but different if that makes sense so it's black but it's not black I would probably wear this with the um with the other color joggers I've got which I can't remember the, the color now silver I think it is so the graphic jogger silver but guys that is sick these t-shirts I still I'm still gonna say it I thought this was gonna be my favorite t-shirt and, and it is very close but I actually think it's this one now I actually think it's this one I don't know though. I think this one, this one maybe picks it. So that goes to the top, this goes second. I don't know, maybe not, I don't know. I don't know, like I wouldn't train arms in this because you can't see them. But I'd go to the gym and this, I'd do some shoulders raises, maybe a bit of pressing, then I'd take this off, have the vest underneath. That's my favorite product. My favorite product for the entirety of the day is gonna be this. Is these little wife beard, um, these wife beards. I love the free pillar, I love that. So that's gonna be my favorite. Let me try then, guys. The I'll try to put the joggers on for you guys with the uh, with the uh, joggers with the top. Sorry, I think that's gonna fit, isn't it? That's gonna fit quite nicely. Bear with me. I've got to take my shoes off and stuff. Might get a little session in after this as well. Might do something. Oh. I always wear these with socks. But if they fit well enough, you can don't have to wear socks. Here we go. Yes, they're going to fit me nicely. I can feel it already. I know before I've even put them on. So look, they're tight enough on the bottom. They're nice and they're, they're tight. And then I have to move the camera down, guys. So there we go. Yes. Well done, Guzman. Let me angle this camera down. I love it when he gets it right. Do you guys see that? So they fit me nicely. Baggy, but that's how I like them. I like them tight here. Like, do you know what, you, I've got a tip for you guys. Rather than just having them like that, because I don't think that looks good, I think that looks awful, I pull them up, all right, if they're still not, if they're still too baggy or not, not long enough, or sorry, not tight enough, I twist that in. I give it one of them. And now look, now, we've, now it's perfect. So I do that with both sides. It looks much better, I think. Anyway, that's, that's how I wear them. And that's sick. Well, I can't really show you with the top one as well, guys, because I can't get the camera back far enough. But that is the joggers and their money. We've also got those in, <coughs> excuse me, in a black as well. Lovely stuff. Right, what's this? Let me, let me open this one. Bring you guys back up. What have we got in here? This one is the script hoodie. Oh yeah, 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 this is the black, this is the black one that goes 
this is the same as the blue. So, yeah. All right. Right guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Um, once again, I just wanna say thank you um, for all your support. I know I say it a lot in every single video, but honestly, I don't think you guys will ever know um, how much it does mean to me, genuinely. I am doing a huge giveaway um, on my Instagram. Again, it was supposed to be this week, but I'm gonna push it back to next week. I hit 260,000 uh, followers on there. However, I think I've nearly hit 290 now, so I'm a little bit late uh, by doing that, but basically another video went viral, so I gained another 30, 30 40,000 followers on there. I wish we could gain that quickly on YouTube. However, YouTube is a bit of a longer game. Um, but I will be doing a huge giveaway, um, so stay tuned for that. But please make sure, if you are using my code, whether it's with Ghost or Alphalete, please send me um, a DM on Instagram so I can say thank you. I do really appreciate it. Plus, every time you do that, I screenshot the message and I put it into a folder on my phone so that when I come to choosing the winners for these, um, these giveaways that I do, the guys that do support me by using my codes do stand a better chance at winning the codes, trust me, because I do appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate the support, the love. Let's continue to make this um, YouTube channel grow. I appreciate it. Love you all.